Indian motorcycles are very rare. The chances of finding one these days is almost impossible, but those chances increase when you're in the middle of Indian territory. All right, this is it right here. Hey, how's it going? Hey. John Hebert, nice to meet you. John, how you doing? Frank Fritz. Hey, Frank. Yes, nice to meet you. On the phone? Meet yes, yes, we did. All right, cool. So you guys are Indian motorcycle lovers? Uh, my brother is. He's actually been an right, Indian right, motorcycle double shake collector on that. forever. You and me both. I love him, man. I've been collecting Indians since the early 80s. I buy Indians to restore them, but I haven't had time because of the brewery that's taken most of my time up. So a lot of them are just sitting, waiting for me. Can we jump on sure, in here? Come this on is in. a way to get in? Cool. All right, very cool. Oh, he's holding out on us. Wow. Oh my gosh. Here it is. This is the motorcycle honey hole that we've been waiting to find. Dang. The first one I see is a 1939 Indian 4. That's the kind of stuff I dream about. This thing is beautiful, man. They run great. They just rumble down the road. I know, I know. When the 1939 Indian 4 cylinder came out, they dubbed it the Aristocrat. That's an expensive bike, so. Oh, believe me, I know. From 1939 to 1945, they stopped making the civilian model of the Chief. So if you wanted a big bike, you had to go to the four, which cost 485 bucks. If you could afford that, then you were an aristocrat. And how long have you owned this? I've owned it since uh, 90, 1990, I believe. And how's it run? Good, I used to be my daily rider. This is a heavy hitter bike. I mean, you're talking minimum of 25,000 all the way up to 45,000, depending on the condition. Have there been a lot of repairs to the cases? Yeah, I think there's a weld on it. Anytime I'm picking a collector of this caliber, I want to see everything before I make a decision. So I'm looking at this bike, I'm just taking it all in, I'm letting it soak in, and I'm like, okay, what else you got? All of a sudden, we're walking into a bar, the tasting room. Beer and bikes. This is every man's dream. I like your style. This is it. I mean, we've seen a lot of bikes already, but this must be Jay's showcase. He had 1977 Cafe Racer. Yep. 1957 Sportster. Yep. He's got a little bit of everything. He's got some older Indians. He's got some Harleys here. What's that? It's kind of cool. That's my rat bike. What are your 39 motor, 37 frame, and 35 tanks on it. It's a rigid chief. It's from the 1930s. It's sweaty. It's dirty. It's got the look. What are you thinking on this bad boy? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? And now that I've seen it all, I got my guns loaded, and I know what I want. $30,000 for the one downstairs. I honestly believe if the four cylinder runs and it's perfect, it's worth 40. Okay, that's the number on it. But I'm gonna have to get the bike running again and I'm gonna have to change the parts that are wrong. I notice the seat springs are wrong. I notice it doesn't have a side stand. I mean, there's just little parts that add up to a lot of money. And 10 for this. Uh-oh. Wow. I mean, there's some big numbers being thrown out today. Mike's going straight for the throat. 40,000 bucks is a lot of money, but bikes like these do not come up for sale every day. 40K. Oh, I don't know what that does for you guys. Hmm. Does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it does do a lot, but. But I get it, man. I mean, they're so hard to get to begin with. I know. Those are his, both of his baby bikes. He liked those and it's just, no pressure. How about 42? I'm not even listening to him run. Right. I believe the guy, but at the end of the day, I got to make good business decisions. And right now, if I'm not hearing the bikes run, I got to be safe on them. You got to leave a little foam on the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'll give it to you. We gonna do 40? I'll do 40. All right, we did it. For Jay and John, basically their priorities changed. When they were younger, it was all about building bikes. Now, it's about building their business. The bikes are going to a good home, and the money's going to a good thing, too. You got it. That's awesome. That money's gonna be used in the brewery. I'll make my money back in five years. It doesn't take long to pay the tanks off once you get them, but you need them. See you guys! See ya. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.